What's up guys and welcome to another Stupid Stunts in Outer Wilds. This time we're crashing on the five planets of the solar system. First thing I want to do though is meet all the travelers so that I can look at them in my signal scope while I'm out there in the emptiness of space. This is a pretty new Outer Wilds profile for me. I created a new one because I didn't want to taint my playthrough with all these stupid deaths. So we're just gonna start at the sun and go outwards, starting with Chert, then Esker, Rybeck, Gabbro, and finally, Feldspar. Shouldn't I tell ground control to come get you? <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> all right, now that we have met them all, we can spend the rest of the loop in space. Now for the good stuff. Let's crash into Giant's Deep first because I've done it before, so you guys, if you've seen my other video, you know what's happening. I was super surprised when this happened the first time. I was less surprised here, but there are still some really interesting things that happen. Check it out. <laughs> so we survived somehow without a scratch on our ship or person. Not sure how. Let's look in slow motion. Look, we're underwater 422 meters away from the core going 27 kilometers per second. Then in the next frame, we are 34 meters away, which is inside the core, I think, going 27 kilometers per second away from the core. And then in the next frame, we are back to 422 meters with basically zero velocity. Anyway, let's move on to Ember Twin, where I thought it might be fun to crash into Chert. Poor Chert. They're at the North Pole, so I fly north. You can really see how much the planet's rotation around the sun affects our relative velocity here with the motion of these arrows. Despite that, it was actually pretty easy to lock onto the planet and hit it dead on. Now, will we be able to hit Chert's campfire? Let's find out. And we survive. We survived. How did we survive, you wonder? And I wonder the same thing. Our ship did disintegrate, but our cockpit did not somehow. Now, did Chert survive? Indeed, they did. Don't ask me how. <laughs> that whole planet should be gone. <laughs> Super slow motion. This is her campfire, actually. You can't really see it, and but look at the number. She's 800 meters away, but the core of Ember Twin is 570 meters away. I'm not sure what's happening. She should be closer to us. And then the next frame, we are underneath the ash. 149 meters is below the surface of the ash at this point. And then it appears like we land, <laughs> and then we crash. So, very interesting. <laughs> next up, Timber Hearth. I couldn't think of anything interesting to do on Timberhearth. The North and the South Poles are somewhat boring, so I just crashed into it. And I wonder if we're going to survive again or if it was the Ash of Ember Twin that saved us last time. What do you guys think? Yeah, another survival. <laughs> Our cockpit breaks away from the ship and spins crazily. Ah, yeah, but this one was interesting because look how fast I'm moving away from Timberhearth. I've never gone that fast in the game before. 42 kilometers a second. <laughs> so what happened? We went through the planet, I think, and then clipped out. Yeah. Oh, yes, this was super interesting because the picture shows a different thing than the numbers. We're 256 meters away from Timberhearth, and now we're 148 meters away from Timberhearth. Something doesn't make sense there. Oh yeah, and then here it's a different frame, but the number stays the same, but you can tell it's a different frame because the brightness goes down. Brittle Hollow's next. And Brittle Hollow is a fun one, isn't it? At the end of the loop, when I'm going 25 kilometers a second, it's pretty open. There's a good chance I'm gonna hit that black hole. Unfortunately, I seem to have bonked off of the surface instead of entering the black hole, but let's watch that again in slow motion because it is super interesting and a bit trippy. I went right into the black hole and then came out the other side. Look at this. Oh man, that frame was incredible. There are like a couple frames there that are just incredible to look at. 508 meters away, 40, 
eight meters or whatever that is and still going towards it. And then here, I guess I'm on the other side, huh? 400 meters away from it, heading away from it. And then I crash into the other side, I guess. So yeah, I went right through the black hole. Last up, Dark Bramble. And obviously, I want to go into one of the openings. If there was an opening at the north or south, then I could aim for it, but unfortunately, there is not. So I just fly away horizontally and hope I get lucky. I am able to hit these planets completely dead on every time. Oh, and we were so close to going through a seed. That was the closest I got. I was not able to get through into the interior of Dark Bramble. I would have loved to go into Dark Bramble at 25 kilometers a second. But sadly, I just ricochet off the edge there. That was the closest I got. And I didn't have the heart to keep going. 22 minutes is a long time to commit to these. <laughs> and that is how long it takes to go 25 kilometers a second. Well, that was the fifth planet and that's gonna do it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Stupid Stunts in Outer Wilds. There's a whole bunch of other stuff to crash into. I think that'll be my next Stupid Stunts video, just crashing into everything. If you guys have any other interesting ideas for me or interesting things to crash into or ways to make crashing into these planets more fun, let me know about it. And until my next video, y'all take care.